All right, so I'm back. Um, last time I left off, I just put this in high build. It's been in it for a couple weeks now. Um, but I wanted to make a video here and show you the wheels that I bought. I've been, I've been holding off on showing the wheels that I bought for uh, a little while just to, because I wanted to put them on the truck and then check um, ride height and see where the engine sits. So uh, in this episode, I'm gonna be showing off the wheels. Yeah, showing the ride height. So let's get at it. I have all the suspension, front suspension stuff to install. I also have the steering rack and the end links and then the um, flip kit. So I have all that um, to install and then throw the wheels on. Here's a little uh, teaser of the wheels. Let's get at it. All right, the engine is a 16 valve, um, a 9A out of a Mark II, I believe. Um, the, you can see, all the cylinders look pretty good, except that one. So the engine is gonna need some work to fix that. Um, I'm probably gonna tear it apart uh, and then ship it to uh, engine shop and see what they have to say about it. Um, hopefully the, the walls and stuff are okay and it's just the piston, so then I just replace the piston and pistons and rings. Hopefully that's all it needs. Um, I'll probably have them check out the bottom end to see how that looks. The head won't need work because I have one to replace it, but I'm probably gonna um, take that and have them look at it, make sure everything looks good replace the springs, the guides, the valves, um, and then I'll probably see if the, the cams from the old one are what they are. I'm not sure if they're stock or if they're aftermarket. I may swap those to the, the new head. But yeah, that's where I'm at with the engine. But I won't be messing with this until later when I'm doing other stuff. If, if I get everything done before on the bay, then yeah, I'll get into this. But if not, I'm just gonna wait till like winter to mess with this and then have this uh, reworked, fixed, and then I'll throw that in. I know you're uh, saying what's in the box. These are the wheels that I got for the truck. I ended up finding these on Facebook Marketplace. Um, uh, I've been looking for a while. Um, I didn't really have an idea of what wheels I wanted, but I knew the style that I wanted. Um, I wasn't sure um, if I'd even get lucky finding out finding what I was looking for because I was looking for a 16 inch 4x100 almost direct bolt on if possible. Um, so I was looking, looking, I found tons of 15 inch that would have possibly worked and um, that were cool wheels but I would have either had to run adapters in which could have messed up like offset and stuff or I would have had to have them drilled out or whatever. But I found these um, and I saw them and they're 16 by seven, four by 100, they're four by 100, four by 450. Um, so basically direct bolt on. Anywho, besides, besides that, um, these are the wheels. I ended up getting the wheels and um, I took I ended up ordering tires from Walmart. Uh, they were the only place that I could find uh, tires that I wanted. 16, 165 by uh, 40 by 16. And uh, I got the tires and I ended up dropping the, the wheels and tires off to uh, German Auto uh, Service. A lot of people may recognize the name from the truck, Joe Zayu's truck. Um, he's uh, helped me a ton over the years. He helped me build my Blue Bunny, whatever. but. I try to go to them whenever I can with I have stuff, especially mounting wheels because they have a high-tech uh, wheel mounting system. I don't know, but I just try to use them when I can. And I had them mount the tires up and I will show you the wheels. So I wasn't really sure how they would look on the truck. I didn't do any like uh, any Photoshop type 
work or anything like that. Um, I knew, uh, uh, I've seen other um, trucks with similar, similar type wheels, but I wanted something like this because I was looking for this style of wheel. I know a lot of people aren't going to like them. Some of them, some people, some of you will, some of you won't, but uh, here they are. They are a uh, billet style wheel. They're not full billets because I think American Racing did like two piece billet. They're like the center section and then the, the barrel is welded uh, on the back side. So they're not full billets, but they look pretty dang good. I'm super happy with uh, with them um, and I can't wait to show you them on the truck. When I first got them I uh, um, threw them on the truck like for a mock-up without any tires and I pretty much fell in love with them like I uh, jacked everything up air to simulate air aired out and they just looked really rad so Anywho, let's get everything installed and get the wheels on the truck. And there it is. waiting for uh, I don't know it seems like forever to show off the wheels that I've picked up for the truck they are American Racing uh, tri spoke I'm not sure on the model number um, 16 by 7 the tires I put on are um, 165 40 16s and I think the fit is pretty good um, some people are gonna like the wheels some people aren't um, I'm kind of going for a uh, 90s mini truck vibe. That's kind of what the wheels are. They're a 90. Um, they're a direct bolt-on 4x100. They're 4x100 and 4x, I don't know what the other size is. But direct bolt-on. The only thing I had to do was get uh, the plastic centering rings. Um, those are the only thing that I had to get. Um, right now, the stance, it's... it's totally aired out sitting on the oil pan. Um, I can probably um, raise the, the engine trans or um, I'll probably just end up getting a shorter oil pan. That'll be the easiest, easiest route because right now I'm super close to hitting on the, uh, the rear control arm mounts. The rear, it's basically sitting on the tires. They're tucked. The front, there's, there's plenty of room um, between the fender and the lip. But I only wanted to put the engine in the bay just to see where it sat um, before I tore it apart to get to get worked on. Um, but, but I wanted to throw the wheels on, have the air ride on, the suspension. Um, throw the engine in the bay, see how it sat, 
and then uh, go from there. So I'm pretty stoked with how it looks. Um, I've got lots of feedback from a couple of my friends that um, they've been following along closely with with it, and I've been bouncing ideas off of them. But yeah, I'm super stoked at how it looks. Um, I can't be any happier with the how it looks right now. Even though it's in primer, I mean, I'm still I'm still excited how it looks. Um, but yeah, I hope some of you like it. I know uh, some people won't dig it because it's not it's not really uh, uh, Euro, but I mostly wanted to get a do something different. Um, I know uh, there's other people that have done uh, I know there's a couple of people still that have billet wheels, but I wanted to do like a 90s mini truck vibe, you know, like this brings me back to high school, friends and mini trucks and always want one, but never had one, so Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm thankful for everybody that keeps following along on the truck build and being motivated by it and asking questions and just, I don't know, watching the videos. Um, um, I know it helps keep me going with the build and helps keep me motivated. I know I still have a ton to do with the bay and everything, but now I'm going to get busy black sanding and see how everything looks and that's probably uh, I guess the next area that I go um, besides uh, drilling holes for the the wiring and all that but that's that's a different day um, but yeah thanks for watching appreciate all the support and follows and likes and everything I can't thank you guys enough but thanks for following along and I'll see you in the next one bye